ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஃபார்மா டாபிக்ஸ் சேனல் வெல்கம் டு தி ஃபோர்டீன்த் சீரீஸ் ஆன் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ரக் டிஸ்கவரி ஃபார் எம்பம் ஃபார்மகாலஜி லெட் எஸ் சி தி ரோல் ஆஃப் டிரான்ஸ்ஜீனிக் அனிமல்ஸ் இன் டார்கெட் டிஸ்கவரி அண்ட் டார்கெட் வேலிடேஷன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வாட் இஸ் த ரிசர்ச் டில் நவ் டில் நவ் வி யூஸ் தி அனிமல்ஸ் விச் ஹாவ் நேச்சுரலி அக்கரிங் ஜெனிட்டிக் வேரியன்ஸ் in case of research in pharmacological experiments there some of them are spontaneously hypertensive rats hypercholesteremic vatana b rabbits and some are chemically or physically induced models that is we use some chemicals or physical restraint uh, one of them is uh, everyone knows uh, streptozootosin induced diabetes mellitus but we need more of accurate models of human disease for research in diabetes mellitus obesity cardiovascular diseases kidney disease alzheimer's disease aids and thalassemia and so on so the solution is usage of transgenic animals has evolved so what are transgenic animals how to produce them how they are useful in target discovery it is the thing which is discussed in this uh, video so the important terminology is uh, some of the terminologies we should know uh, before uh, knowing what are transgenic animals one is uh, transgenesis it can be defined as modification of genetic makeup of an organism through recombinant dna transgenic animal it is an animal in which there has been a deliberate modification of its genetic material knock in Uh, it's a genetic engineering method where a specific gene or dna sequence is inserted or knocked in a targeted location in the genome of a organism so the genetic makeup changes knock out it is a genetic engineering technique used to disable or knock out a specific gene in an organism's genome that is deletion this is typically achieved by introducing a mutation or deletion of a section of a gene rendering it non functional so let us see what are transposons transposons are also known as jumping genes or dna sequences that have the ability to move or transpose within a genome they are present in the dna of various organisms including bacteria plants animals and humans transposons were discovered by barbara mcclintock in 1940 and her work earned her nobel prize in physiology and medicine in 1983 the, there are different types of uh, transposons one is class 1 transposons are also called retro transposons which move via copy and paste mechanism these transposons are first transcribed into rna and then reverse transcribed back into dna using an enzyme called reverse transcriptase the newly formed dna copy is then inserted into a new location in the genome this process creates a duplicate copy of the <coughs> transposon at a new site while the original transposon remains in its original location retro transposons are often abundant in eukaryotic genomes and have played a significant role in shaping genome evolution the next is uh, class 2 transposons or uh, dna transposons which move uh, through a cut and paste mechanism these transposons uh, directly excise themselves from one genomic location and then insert themselves into another leaving no extra copy behind the transposition is facilitated by a specific enzyme called transposase which recognizes the transposons dna sequences and catalyzes the movement class 2 transposons are more common in prokaryotic genomes but they are also found in eukaryotes so these transposons are very useful in generation of transgenic or um, uh, genetically modified organisms let us know what is gene cloning gene cloning means copying a gene the steps involved in gene cloning are isolation of a desired dna fragment by using restriction enzymes insertion of the dna fragment into a suitable vector uh, maybe a plasmid to uh, make our uh, uh, recombinant dna transfer the recombinant dna into bacterial host uh, that is called transformation selection and multiplication of the recombinant host cell to get a clone 
then the expression of the cloned gene in the host cell so gene cloning is used to produce vaccines hormones gene copies for gene therapy and also useful in production of transgenic uh, that is genetically modified organisms so the steps in gene cloning so these are two genes gene a and gene b and uh, it is uh, from the chromosomal dna and when they get transcribe uh, it transcribes to the rna primary transcripts and after uh, the rna polymerase uh, acts on it uh, splicing occurs rna splicing yields mrna so that is expressed to cdna libraries so this is called gene cloning so the entire uh, dna sequence can also be cloned in the same manner by using restriction endonucleases which produce different fragments and they could be ligated to produce the entire dna sequence which is a dna cloning the story let us see the story of a dolly which is the first uh, cloned animal uh, it was cloned in 5th july 1996 it was a lamb uh, which lived up to 7 years it was the first mammal cloned to be an adult so from the um, adult somatic cell so it is a scottish uh, black faced uh, sheep and the nucleus was uh, removed from the egg of the black sheep and the uh, egg without the nucleus is obtained so uh, the fin dorsal the white face uh, uh, somatic cell is taken and from this the nucleus is taken out then they fuse the egg without nucleus and the uh, nucleus of the white uh, fin dorsal that gives rise to an embryo which is uh, placed in a surrogate mother and that lead to the birth of dolly say a white face a lamb with a white face has emerged and this is the story of dolly let us see the applications of gene cloning uh, it is useful for production of recombinant proteins example insulin factor 8 tissue plasminogen activator vaccines production of uh, transgenic animals for research genetically modified organisms and it is useful for gene therapy in case of cancer uh, which uh, blood disorders liver disorders and lung disorders so let us see some of the transgenic uh, animals one is uh, mice uh, transgenic rabbit transgenic chicken transgenic fish transgenic goats transgenic monkeys and transgenic dogs and so on transgenic mice first transgenic mouse uh, uh, it was uh, produced in the year 1974 by rudolf janes using uh, sv40 viral dna inserted into a mouse genome but uh, actually it does not express uh, the recombinant dna in 1982 insertion of uh, human uh, growth hormone into a mouse produced super mouse because it was twice bigger than the normal mouse transgenic mouse extensively used for cancer immunological and metabolic studies research let us see the production of uh, the transgenic mice so the steps involved are these first is uh, gene extraction that is the target gene then injection of the target gene into the embryos then uh, embryo is implanted into the surrogate uh, mother then the offsprings are produced from the surrogate mother then separation of the transgenic pups then finally confirmation of transgenesis through uh, polymerase chain reaction or southern blot so let us see the production of transgenic mice in detail so we need a neat cabinet micro injection then the animals have to be healthy and these things can be used for production of transgenic mice so in the production of uh, transgenic mice first uh, injection of pregnant mare serum uh, it, is, it is injected to the female uh, mouse for maturation of oocytes and increasing the embryo yield and the next is injection of human chorionic gonadotropin uh, to the female mouse uh, because it mimics uh, the luteinizing hormone and helps in maturation of oocytes 
and the next is uh, mating of a uh, donor uh, female which is injected with the pre uh, pregnant mare serum and hcg and it should be mated with a donor male which is vasectomized the next is uh, healthy embryos uh, are harvested uh, that is uh, from the if if you say it is a healthy embryo it should have uh, two visible pronucleus and uh, uh, intact uh, zona pellucida so harvesting the embryos uh, is the next step and uh, you have to identify the faulty embryos and good embryos and uh, uh, differentiate them and remove the faulty embryos then uh, micro injection of the good embryos with the target dna which is recombinant dna then implantation of the same in the pseudo pregnant uh, recipient then it produces uh, offsprings and some of them uh, may not be completely transgenic some may be uh, from the may not be transgenic that has to be separated so the next important step is uh, separation of transgenic uh, mice next is uh, transgenic cow in 1990 herman the bull uh, it is from netherlands it is the first transgenic bovine it carries lactoferrin a lyso uh, staph in uh, gene introduced into transgenic cow in the next uh, decade the proteins expressed kills the staphylococcus aureus which controls mastitis next is uh, transgenic goats a lysozyme is an antibacterial enzyme produced in the tears. Transgenic goats uh, producing lysozyme in their milk uh, used to treat infant diarrhea. After Dolly the sheep, it's uh, Millie the goat. The world's first cloned transgenic goats have been bo uh, born as a part of research. Milk contains antithrombin 3. Uh, this trying the transgenic goat uh, used in uh, coronary artery bypass bypass grafting. Next is uh, avian transgenesis. So this is the case. Uh, transgene is uh, delivered into the embryos. Uh, the target DNA is inserted. Then uh, transgene is uh, integrated, which combines to form a recombinant DNA. Then uh, the egg gets uh, developed. Hatching occurs. Target uh, hen becomes a transgenic hen. And the protein is to be whatever protein uh, which is essential from the target gene which is implanted that gives a uh, desired protein. This is avian transgenesis. How transgenic animals are useful in uh, target discovery and, in, and its validation? Transgenic animals have been invaluable tools in target discovery and validation for various uh, diseases and conditions. First is loss of function studies. Transgenic animals with specific genes knocked out, uh, that is gene knockout animals, can be used to validate uh, potential targets. If a knockout for a particular gene results in a phenotype similar to the disease that is being studied, it supports the idea that gene is valid therapeutic target. Gene of function studies, conversely, the transgenic animals express, over express a target gene can be used to validate its importance in disease development. If overexpression of the target gene leads to disease-like phenotypes, it further supports its candidacy as a potential therapeutic target. So this is a short video of uh, how transgenic animals are useful in uh, research, how it is useful in target discovery and its validation. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Go through all the series and do well in your MFAM exams. Thank you.